yippee yay yippee yay my spare GoPro battery arrived today ten dollars wanted an auction brand new on eBay alright let's get started with this high banker build see we've done started on the build actually I didn't really get much interest in the first video I made about it talking about what I was going to do so I just went ahead and did it figured nobody want to see it see me cutting this all up struggling but I'm a man uh, first I got the mat cut to fit set that down in there and then like I talked about in the other video I was going to cut me a, a one or two inch gap there. And that's ended up doing a one and a half inch. So that's that. Straightened it up some. It was all bent up if you watched the last video. So it's a little more straighter. Got the mat fitting in there good. Then went ahead and basically did the same with the bucket. Took a gap out of the bottom. Set it down in here. Drilled holes. There's my hardware for it. That'll sit down. Overlap against the mat there. And I'm going to have to have me some kind of bilge pump hose fitting for the back. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the grizzly bars yet. I don't know if I'm going to make me something to put in it or not. And then we'll have to figure out the legs on this. And then get a pump of some sort or get creative and make my own river or creek powered pump. I'm not sure yet. I've been kind of drawing it up still. So this is where we're at so far. I'll have to finish it up and get back with you. What is this? A little mini sluice? I'll be dang. Yeah, that's what happens when you have some pop cans and some spare matting laying around and a stapler. Anyways, we got the hopper here bolted down with the two wing nuts and bolts on both sides there. If you're curious what kind of paint I used, it's this Kryol, Krylon, Krylon Fusion for plastics, metal, wood, wicker, more, satin, no sanding or primer. Bonds to plastic is why I used this. It dries in less than 15 minutes and I gotta say it came out fairly well there. Hopefully that'll be durable. So Probably gonna have me like a spigot of some sort right there, one one and one eighth maybe, and have that to a bilge pump hose and to a pump run by a battery. Have that in here. I'm not sure about a grizzly bar yet, like I said. And I'm just gonna show you what everything looks like. Material's gonna come down here. Obviously, the mini sluice is not gonna be in the way, and then it runs off down here. Not sure about any riffles yet and still have to build the feet like I said so this is just a little behind the scenes I guess again until I get it built and functioning and have a video up of it running out in the creek but this is the start of it so alrighty we're getting the legs put on and got, got them uh, pretty much there already I uh, did the front one just a little different. I went and took the bracket and turned it around and just drilled it out because it had a pop ribbon in it like that one. So that ought to do. The front's good. The back, I got a two inch spacer piece of wood here installed for the two inch decline I need in my two foot sluice. I guess it's about a foot of sluice you got. You need to drop your sluice down on the bottom an inch per foot so probably just going to screw this to it make it uh, temporary just so I can move it and adjust it when I need it and got me a pump and a hose kit ordered so that'll be on the next video not this one and I might fiddle around with it it might be a little bit different looking next time you see it uh, so you know just be aware do a walk around here not bad, the paint's pretty durable. It's fully dried now. And that sets up about a foot and a half in the back and maybe a foot in the front. Which I think that's pretty good. Not bad. Come along, sturdy. Maybe we're gonna put some riffles in it or something. I have an idea for that. So you'll see that in the next video.
All right, I uh, put a little paint on the sluice box itself, and that's still currently drying. I also filed down some of the sharp edges of where I was cutting, cut it, where I was cut off at. So this is about the final product. Just need to get my pump set up, battery, and maybe some riffles and a grizzly. Or get creative and make my own, like I said before. So there you go. Free sluice box, like 90% free. Cool, about 20 so bucks invested. percent of it was free the other half was uh I don't know just rejects a lot of it's just just trash finds you know this is where we go and use our creativity make the magic happen look at this look at this big sluicy box here oh, that ain't a cool one that I think I'm gonna make me a sluice out of that what is that, about a one, two, and a three foot? I think it is. That looks like a nice little sluice box. Maybe bend it back up. I think this galvanized steel, I'm gonna have to take it off the house. 